back up the tractor and secure with a pin. The major tank chassis hitch point is designed for both pickup hold and drawbar. Raise the tanker. Connect the breakaway cable if applicable. Flip the PTO stand down and attach the PTO shaft. Connect the safety chain. Attach the hoses to the appropriate circuit. Each tanker is custom designed and the hoses are labelled accordingly. Connect the electrics. One cable is for the indicator and brake lights. The other is for the plough lights and the beacon. Release the parking brake if applicable. There are two pumps on this tanker. Move the lever to the right to control the centrifugal pump. This feeds water to the road blaster bar and the rain gun. Move the lever to the left to control the vacuum pump. This feeds water to the splash plate and water dust suppressor. Using the appropriate connections, attach the tanker to a hydrant. Ensure the rear valve is open by using the manual operating handle. Open the air vent to allow the water into the tanker safely. Watch for the appearance of the water in the sight glass at the front of the tank. When the tank is full, shut the inlet valve gate valve. Close the vent. Remove the suction fill pipe from the water source. Move the pump lever to the right to the pressure position. Open the gate valve on the tanker by hydraulic control. Engage the vacuum pump at a low RPM while traveling forward. Increase the RPM on the tractor as you move forward. The water spinner dust suppressor atomizes and fans the water droplets outwards, creating a fine mist. Pressurize the tanker. Start the water spinning motor. Open the 6-inch gate valve. The water spreader disc speed can be varied by the tap located on the tractor feed coupling. Hydraulic hoses must be correctly connected. The quarter inch hose is the feed hose and the half inch hose is the return line. Damage to the hydraulic motor can occur if hoses are connected incorrectly. Connect all the required hydraulic hoses and PTO. Change the lever from the vacuum pump to Garda pump, centrifugal pump. Open the gate valve that feeds the rain gun pump. Engage the PTO at low revs and increase if required to spread a further distance. Rotate the rain gun as required on the spool valve. Connect the two hydraulic hoses for the road blaster lift ram. Remove the extension pieces from their storage position and add them to the road blaster bar. Open the gate valve. Check that the blaster bar lifts and lowers. Adjust the angle of the blaster bar to wash to the left or right. Lock into position. Engage the PTO and open the stone trap gate valve. Vary the forward speed and tractor RPM to find the optimum cleaning ability. Periodically clean out the stone trap and replace the filter if applicable. Check the lights and beacon.
Check the wheel nuts and tighten the wheel nuts in this order. Check the tire pressure. The table shows the correct tire pressure for each tire option. Check the pump oil levels and top up with vacuum pump oil. Check that the oil dripper on the pump is working correctly. There should be one drip every three seconds. Grease the following points according to the user manual. Check the following items according to the user manual. Check the oil level in the gearbox and top up if required with ISO VG460 oil. For optimum performance and long machine life, the gearbox oil should be extracted and replaced every 500 hours. If you have questions about the safe use and maintenance of your machine, scan the QR code on your machine for additional how-to videos to get the best performance from your major machine.